Hey everybody, uh, welcome to the Wolf Pac-Man YouTube channel today. <laughs> what is going on with my computer? Why is Microsoft Edge trying to fire up in the background? Come on, man, Windows. I don't know about Windows anymore. Bill Gates, what are you doing to my Windows? Oh, okay. It looks like it's back now. All right, so <laughs> welcome to the Wolf Pac Man YouTube channel. <laughs> and um, today I'm going to open a pack of baseball cards from 2003 Topps Pristine Baseball. And that's what the pack looks like. It's a big pack now. This sec I opened uh, 2002 a while back, and it there was an uncirculated card in it, and it feels like there's something similar in this one. So, what, what they had la the year before, but I don't know for sure. But there was a pack and a pack. The, the, I got an uncirculated card. I got a a bat card, a Roberto Alomar bat card that was really cool, and then then a, a another pack that actually had some of the Topps Pristine cards in it, which are phenomenal cards. So Topps High End, they, they just do a fantastic job with it. But this, So this is 2003. Barry Bonds on the front. I, th I think it's funny. It has this $29.99 price tag. You know, it mentions eight cards down here, but it doesn't really talk too much about what's what else is in here. You know, most of the packs that are bigger about, you know, insert, autograph, blah, blah, and I'm not, not on this pack. So pretty clean. Uh, I guess they figure, you know, back then 30 bucks was a fair amount of money. Uh, so we're, we're about to find out whether that was a good investment of $30 back then or a bad investment of $30. Uh, there are 190 cards in the base set for Tops Pristine 2003. 19 Hall of Famers to go with 30 rookies. Some of the rookies are, include Jeremy Bonderman of the Tigers, just because he's a Tiger, I like that. Uh, Kevin Euclid, Euclid of the Sox, uh, Robin Cano and Jose Contreras of the Yankees were rookies in this year. One thing that I found interesting is, you know, 2002 Pristine had seven insert sets, and then in 2003 it's up to 21 insert sets, so that's pretty, that's quite a hefty jump. So a lot of insert sets, but hopefully that means I, I pulled a couple of rare inserts. So eight cards, $29. <laughs> let's see, let's see what, I, what I'm going to get for my $29. Oh, shoot, I forgot one thing just a second. <laughs> want to see what I got. <laughs> All kinds of interesting stats about the odds of this and this. A pristine mini rookie, one in 16 packs. A mini veteran, one in eight packs. Bomb Squad, one in three packs. So, let's see, that seems kind of congested on that end. So, let's see. They are pretty consistent about stamping one on top of another on top of another. So,. Oh, I mentioned Euclid, and there he is. Card number 534 of 199. Oh, that's pretty. So there you go. There's a, usually if I, usually it's like a jinx if I mention some player's name beforehand. There's no way he's going to actually show up in the pack, but in this case it did. So that's, that's a, that's a cool uncirculated card right there. Good start to the pack. Good start towards my twenty nine ninety nine investment. <laughs> of course, for me, it was all about Barry back then. You know, 
at the time considered the greatest player ever. And only time will tell where he lands. You know, I, although I I did watch Hank Aaron hit 715 on TV and and man, that guy was he was he was one amazing human being and baseball player, but. It's just as amazing of a human being, what, what his life story and what he went through. Okay, so this is the same as the year before. So, so underneath this, I've got a Vladimir Guerrero bat card. So that's game used bat. So that's that's a really neat card. Montreal Expos. So if everyone can see that, that that's says uh, Vlad hit 39 home runs in 2002. So there you go. That's a neat card. And then last but not least, pack number three. <laughs> Again, these are I just love these cards, man. These are so beautiful. Kevin Euclid. Rookie card, that's awesome. Okay, so what do we have left in here? We have Cliff Floyd. Pretty pretty clean cards. I like them. Little little green, <laughs> but that's okay. Uh, Tony Batista. Oh, Man Ram, Manny Ramirez. That's that's a cool card. And this looks like uh Fernando Vina. Oh, certified ah. Oh, this is an actual autograph. Fernando Vina St. Louis Cardinals autograph card. Wow, that's Oh, and there's the hologram on the back. Or the upper deck authentication. So that's a that's a cool card. Got an autograph card in there. Uh, Tyler Martin of the Rangers and there's a Detroit Tiger. I thought I recognized the name. Will Ledsma, Detroit Tiger. Don't think he played too much for Detroit, but <laughs> that's okay. Will we we still love you, baby. So there you go. Uh, a, a uh, uncirculated rookie card, a bat card, an autograph card, and some other, you know, their base set. <laughs> you know, $29 was spending some green, and now I feel like I'm in the green. So I know that was dorky, but you, you, you understand what I mean. <laughs> See you guys later.